You know, they say necessity is the mother of invention. Sadly, however, we don't know who the father is. And that's what I want to talk about today. No, actually, avionics. I want to talk about avionics. Uh, I've invented something that I think is going to help you in the cockpit. And I want to share that with you now. Hey guys, thanks for stopping by. Today I'm going to show you something that's groundbreaking and I think it's going to change the landscape of general aviation as we all know it. What am I talking about? Let me show you. So what I have right here inside this box is the Brypad 2.0 fresh from the factory and it's running the only existence of the beta copy of Five Flight ever. And you're going to see it here first. Let's crack this baby open and see what's inside. It's beautiful. There it is, folks. The Brypad version two running the first beta instance of Five Flight. I know what you're thinking. This seems familiar. I think I've seen it before. I promise you haven't. This is fresh from the factory. This is the first instance of this ever created. <sighs> smells like the 80s. When you see what this does, you're going to be amazed. So let's dive into the functionality now. All right, so when you first fire this up, you're gonna hit the on button and it's gonna resume where you left off. Uh-oh, oh. Sorry about that. Uh, when you turn it on, go. When the unit first boots up, you're gonna see it do a series of system self-tests. And then it's gonna end up on this boot screen that says, welcome to Five Flight with double the magenta. All right, so let's talk about that real quick. I forgot to mention that, double the magenta. What does that mean? Let me tell you. Okay, so this is going to be new, and this is something where my tablet outshines all the other tablets and avionics in general. All right, generally when you're talking about glass cockpit type avionics, they're displayed in what's called RGB or red, green, and blue because those are the primary pixels that are used. I did a bunch of research. I'm a computer scientist, as you may know, and I've learned about something that's called the Giga Magenta Pixel. And what it is is it's a magenta-colored pixel that's much, much brighter than the original pixel that they use for magenta lines. In fact, it's double. So I have added double the magenta to this tablet. Let me show you. Yeah. All right, do you want full magenta? Magenta level one, brighter, brighter. All right, so uh, with the added magenta, we'll see how this works. And you can really tell a difference with the magenta. I don't know why it's making me talk loud. It's really bright. It's so bright. It's, it's too bright. I can't see anything. Oh, it's so much magenta. That's a lot of that. All right, I think doubling was a bit strong. Maybe we just go 50%. This was uh, that's a lot of magenta. I think I overdid it. All right, well, it appears that the Giga Magenta Pixel may not be quite ready for prime time, and I think it's probably a good chance that it's, it's radioactive. So um, when I release this, I'm going to dial it back, and we're just going to do 50% more magenta rather than, than doubling it. So uh, we'll work on that in the future, um, but uh, be looking for that. All right, say you're flying along, and you forget how to do something that's really important for your flight. Hit pound G. And now you have access to the entire Gold Seal online library. You can watch videos about airspace weather. You can research IFR commercial topics. Basically anything that's on www.onlinegroundschool.com is available in this unit for you to study in case you forget something while you're flying. And when do you have to fly them? All right, so let's say you're watching one of these videos and all of a sudden... Pilots navigate an instrument... Okay, that's important. What you're seeing there is a low pressure warning. Let me explain that real quick. Often that means... So like a lot of popular avionics, Garmin, Aspen, all those guys, mine too are powered by the moderately easy to find C battery. You run down a radio shack and stock up on these and you're gonna have power forever. While my avionics are powered by C batteries just like everybody else's, I am the only person producing avionics right now that offers a backup solution using pneumatic power. It's redundant and it's gonna keep you safe in the event that these die. Let me show you how this works. All right, so what you want to do is you want to take a compressor, like this one I got here on sale at Lowe's, and you want to put this tip on it that you'd use for airing up like a basketball or some other kind of football if you're real into sports, and then you want to fire up this compressor for a little bit. Now what you're going to do is you're going to look for this input right here on the side of the bry pad, and this is the one that you want to put that needle into. <clears throat> you're going to take your needle, you're going to put it in here, until it clicks, and you know what it's in because the uh, bright pad is going to light up once it's engaged. All right, there it goes. So no, it's engaged. And so now what I'm going to do is we're going to fill this thing up. 
All right, you don't want to fill this up any more than about 4,000 pounds per square inch. Any more than that, and it's just going to be pieces of plastic everywhere. You're going to be picking out of your hair and teeth for months. All right, so right about there. All right, so it's ready to go. We can take the batteries out, and everything's going to work exactly like it's supposed to. D. L. Surgeon. S. U. R. G. E. O. N. That is correct. Now spell yacht. It makes you go through a series of questions in order to unlock it for you. It's for security reasons. As I promised, I did include all of the other original Brynon all-in-one functionality in this, and I'll show you how to access that. What you're going to want to do is hit the pound two times, and you can see I've got the Brynon functionality right here. Let's say I'm flying along and I suddenly find myself in IMC. What I can do is do pound I F R and I can complete my IFR training in the flight. So I go through the lessons. Everything's cool. It takes about five minutes. And then once you're done, hit go. Now I'm an instrument rated pilot. Easy as that. I can finish the flight. I don't have to declare an emergency. All right, let's say you're flying on a long cross country and you get bored. This happens to every pilot and I've got a solution for you. Well, if you subscribe to everything that's offered in here, what you can do is hit pound H. That's gonna bring up your Hulu account. You're gonna have access to all the basic Hulu programming that you would normally have at home. I know what you're saying. There's a lot of pilots out there saying, Brian, that's not safe. Hulu's a distraction. This is dangerous. And for those people, I do have another option. Let me show you. Pound N. Now you got Netflix, so it's less distracting because most likely on Netflix, you're gonna be watching one two hour movie. You're not gonna be going from show to show to show. Netflix is safer than Hulu. All right, everyone's gonna ask, and I'm definitely working to get some adult programming added to this. I know that's a must have for student pilots who are striking out with that tired ass pickup line about the C-150, C-130 thing. It's real stupid. Uh, so I'm gonna get that in there for you. It's not gonna be in this first version, but it will be in future versions. All right, so you've seen the BriPad 2.0 and Five Flight and all that stuff about how it works, but that's just the tip of the iceberg. There's a lot more to this avionic than just the functionality in the cockpit. Let me show you the durability, how long this thing's gonna last, what it can put up with, and I wanna talk about the warranty. So uh, let me show you some of the other features that Garmin's not gonna share with you, okay? Let's go. This is the only avionic you're gonna find that's dishwasher safe, waterproof up to 0 0.00018 meters. And it's old, just like your airplane's really, really old, so it's a good match. Here's a bonus, dogs don't like it. This is one of the few avionics you can purchase that can't get a virus, and that's because it doesn't really integrate with anything modern. Time travel's not a thing, so you can't really update it. It has all the terrain and maps from the 1980s, but that was a much better time anyway, wasn't it? So one of the things you're probably asking yourself just by looking at this is, Brian, how am I gonna mount this in my plane? Well, let me tell you, with the iPad, what do you gotta, you gotta pay $200 for a RAM mount or whatever that costs. Here you can see I'm using it with a lower end hanger mount. Now these are good because they can be used in any type of aircraft. Now I can look at this from any angle if my passenger wants to see. All he has to do is swing it that way. Now for some people, even the hanger mount is gonna be a little cost prohibited. So this thing by default will fit on your yoke. I've got a yoke mounting option right there. And then let's say I need to see it clear because it's out of my field of view, bank to the right. Look at that, right there where I need it. Now I'm done looking at it and I need to focus my eyes outside. Bank to the left, out of sight, out of mind. If you're anything like me, you no doubt have a pair of lucky flying pants. These are my lucky flying pants. And so my preferred method of mounting is just take a little bit. So you got your hot glue. You just take the uh, BriPad 2.0. You wanna just mash it down there real good. Now, anytime I go flying, I'm gonna have my lucky jeans on and I'm gonna have my bright pad with me. So some people aren't gonna want such a permanent solution. And so I've got one more idea for mounting this that I think a lot of people are gonna find interesting. Let me show that to you now. Now, if you don't like any of those other mounting options, I'm gonna show you a mounting option that you're not gonna see with any other tablet on the market, guaranteed. This is something I invented. I call it the glove mount. What this is, is a glove mount that goes on the back of the tablet. You just slide your hand right in there. Now your tablet's with you, 
It's not going anywhere. And guess what? You got your tablet right here where you need it. You're flying with your left hand. And you know what else? Your hand's warm because you're wearing a glove and this thing generates a lot of heat. I actually need to fix that, but for right now, it's a benefit. So I got a glove mount. So everything I need is right here on my right hand. I'm not going to lose it. You're not going to find this on Android. You're not going to find it on iPad, a Garmin, any other tablet. This only comes on the BriPad 2.0. It's genius. So one thing we have to remember is we did pressurize the avionic and so it's important after every flight to relieve the pressure otherwise this thing could explode and scare your dog in the middle of the night or something you don't want to do that. So there's a thing here you can't see it's kind of like a valve stem on a tire and what you want to do is after every flight you just want to press that so now you know everything is safe here and we can go ahead and turn this off and uh, it's ready to be repressurized for the next flight tomorrow and you know nothing's bad going to happen it's not going to explode on you or anything like that if you step on it it's not going to be like a landmine um, so now it's it's technically it's in safe mode it's very safe it can't harm you or your family another thing i want to address is i know there's a lot of people out there that put money down to reserve a place in line for the brinon all-in-one unit and this new brypad 2.0 does make this pretty much obsolete but i don't want you to feel like that money you put down was wasted um, without that money, I would never have gone to Aruba. I got to see a volcano in Hawaii. I went on two cruises. Um, the money wasn't wasted. I don't want you to feel that way. But having seen the BriPad 2.0, I know you guys are going to be chomping at the bit to throw down a bunch more money to secure a place in line for the unit that I have here. I turned it on. What am I going to do with a speaking spell? All right, everyone, have fun. Fly safe. You know, they say mother was the necessity of that's that they don't say that. Nobody says that. That's not what they say. Once you've committed to taking advantage of the universal tape mount, what happens? That's right. Shut up, speaking spell. Tape goes right on the hat. Now, I've got my instruments right in front of me when I look down. Everything's right there. And in the event that the weather does clear up, look at that. I can see right outside. This is a perfect solution for any pilot. IMC, VMC, you'd be silly not to buy this. It's a new pixel called the Giga Magenta Pixel. And what it is, is it's a fourth, ma fourth ma pixel. What's a McPixel? It's a McDonald's that's got this new pixel. You just get the McPixel. That's going to be great. All right, so generally when you're talking about glass cock... Nah, glass cock... <laughs> I'm such a child. Okay, so that uh, gigamagenta pen... Gigamagenta... Gigamagenta... Gigama. All right, so the gigamagenta pencil... <laughs> so gigamagenta... Giga gigamagenta pencil... Wow, I couldn't have come up with something else to call it. All right, the gigamagenta... <laughs> Focus. <laughs> Camera doesn't know where to focus when I do that. What's wrong with me?